So, hey there guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to this episode of Investment Diaries. This is episode number three, I think it is. Uh, yes. So, I'm going to try to go quickly here to the deals because, I mean, if you watched the previous episode, you should know sort of how this works. And I'm just going to try to go quickly through the deals. First one is Guardado, uh, which I bought for 13.75 and sold for almost 20k. There you go. Then next we have Inler, which uh, actually asked, a few people asked me last time how they go about investing. I actually did a video doing some live investing. You can just search it up on my channel. Should be pretty easy to find. And I don't think this Inler that I bought for um, 13,000, I did. You can probably see me bidding on him live, so you can see the exact moment that I did buy him. Um, Next, we have uh, oh, this is Bisevich here. Uh, actually, you didn't see me buying him, but uh, I bought him for 10k and then I just sold him for 10 to 50. So I lost a little bit of coins, but you'll see why because I ended up uh, buying a bit too many of him. But uh, moving on here, next player we have is Boney, uh, sold for 14,750, bought for 9.8. Next, we have Gillette, sold for uh, uh, bought for 10, sold for the same amount as the last one. Next we have the Bushi. I do believe I bought him on the on that uh, investing tutorial I was talking about. Next we have Jabur, and he's actually uh, I noted it down here. He's from week two, and this week right now is week 13. So today is the uh, 21st. Oh wait, shit! Aren't we all supposed to die today? But um, well, I guess the day isn't over yet. But uh, well, if this ends up being my last video, then well. It was was nice knowing all of you, <laughs> but anyway, I did sell these guys on uh, Monday. Most of the sales on Monday. A few of these guys sold on Thursday, on Tuesday. But uh, I on the spreadsheet, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's the same link. I put the link that I bought the uh, the week that I bought the player and the week I sold the player, so you can see the time difference. Now a lot of these players, I did keep them for a really long time, but uh, it's not really for any particular reason. It just happened to go that way. You don't really need to wait that long. So uh, this Jabber, for example, I bought him on week two, and I sold him this week, which is week thirteen. So you know, eleven weeks is definitely a long time to make just about ten k profit. But uh, you definitely don't need to wait that long. Next, we have uh, Cleverly, and uh, not too big of a profit on him. Just about um, how much is it here? Uh, One point seven. Next, we have another Strutman, and you can see, I think last week I sold him for 19000 or almost 20000 So you can see his price is dropping a little bit. But on the whole topic of how, mu how much time you should keep a player, I mean, really, it doesn't really matter that much. But like, the best way to do it, if you want to do it, is you go at the end of every week after you do an investing, you can go, you can check the prices on the market, or you can go to like the database website and just look at the like the graphic, at the curve, and see if it's sort of stopping uh, to rise. And if it is, then you can sell. But um, I really, the way I do it is pretty much sort of random. It's not the best way to do it, but I mean, it's good enough. I just sort of randomly pick players from my club and put them for sale. But something that I do is I do pick the, pick the players from my watch list first, because those are the players that I have duplicates on. So I'll show you my watch list real quick here after this, because I do have the players from this week uh, on the watch list. Next, we have uh, Osvaldo. Uh, sold for 14.75 after I bought him for 10k. You can definitely see there's a lot of players that I bought for 10k and I'm selling for 14,750. That seems to be the most uh, common trade. Next we have Stalker, uh, not too big of a profit, but let's move on here. We have uh, this Jesus Gomez, which I bought, I think it was a couple weeks ago on the first episode or something. Uh, next we have this Tranzo, and uh, let me check here. I did buy him last week, actually, and uh, he just ended up sitting on my trade pile. I didn't really think about it. I just lifted him up. So I guess he was, you know, at the wrong place at the wrong time, and he ended up selling. But I did make uh, just about 600 coins profit on him. You know, not, not really too good, but I mean, it's pretty much the worst case scenario, which is not too bad. If you're making coins, uh, that's never too bad. Next, we have this Ignatovich, maybe. Uh, just about 4k profit on him. We have another Chucho Benitez and uh, just about another 2k profit. We have this Ron Tomas from a couple weeks ago, I think it was. Uh, you can see, sold for 11,500. And then we have this David Navarro as well, which about this week as well. Same thing with, um, who was it again? Uh, let's go back here real quick. With uh, Ibisevic. I bought too many of him, you'll see in a little bit, but I think I bought this one for like 9.5 9 or 9.4 or something. I just tried to sell him quickly. 
Uh, maybe I should have discarded him. I might have gotten just a tad bit more. But uh, no big deal. Next one I have is Pablo Hernandez, which uh, I bought for 11 to 50 Sold down for 18 seven fifty. Pretty good. Next we have this Meyer. 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 Uh, sold for 11 seven fifty. We have a foreign uh, Norwegian center back. Pretty much the worst case scenario again. Just about 600 coins profit on him. Next we have... Um, Noise tider, noise tider. I'm not sure. Maybe something like that. Sold for 12 to 50, and I bought him for 9.5. And we have a silver here, Mario, which I bought, and it was it was on week two as well. I kind of forgot about him because you know he keeps on the end of the list of my players in my club. I do have maybe one or two more silver players and a bronze, I think. So I just kind of forgot about him, but he did increase uh, about 7k profit, almost 8k. And we have a couple of contracts here, and uh, we have a Pastore, which I actually got on my uh, daily gift. Uh, if I got him yesterday, he was being informed still. So, you know, I almost got an inform on the daily gift. But, um, yeah, pretty decent. I'll probably just list him up here, well, 150, just see what happens. But, um, yeah, uh, let's move on here to the watch list to see the players that I have invested on this week. So now moving on here to the players on my watch list that I invested on this week. You can see we have two David Navarros, uh, 1412 and 2, and 1352 for 9600. I'll send one of them to my club and I'll keep the other one in my watch list. So, um, you know, I'll get rid of this one quicker. Like I said before, I try to go through my watch list first just to, to get rid of the players that I have a duplicate on. Then we have two of uh, Sorrentino, uh, Italian goalkeeper, see, for 9900, both of them. Send this one to the club. Then we have uh, this Mbokani here for 10,000. We have another one here for 10 to 50 in a 4222, 4 2. Um, send this one here to the club. It's a little bit better formation. We'll keep it for a little bit longer. Uh, you can see we have actually four Ibisevic. Uh, and actually, you know, I didn't expect to win this much because I just beat in a whole bunch and I actually ended up winning four, actually five with that other one that I saw before. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just end up selling them like one each week and uh, he might not go up too much, but um, still, like I said before, I can probably sell him for 10, 750, 11,000 uh, without a problem. This thing, Yasevich, I also uh, still have one more of him. Do I still have one in my club? Uh, yeah, I still have one in my club. So I'll probably sell him uh, next week. Then we have a couple of Cardozos here uh, for 11 to 50, both of them. So we send this one here to the club. And I was going to pick up a Totti. I didn't actually find. He's going for a bit more than I thought he would. But um, maybe I'll just throw in a bit on this one, see what happens. Uh, I might even pick up maybe one after this video, see if there's any for cheap. Uh, one last try. But uh, if I don't, then these are the players that I pick up, that I picked up this week. But um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and bye bye. Oh, by the way, <laughs> um, this pro this episode we did make how much was it? Uh, 69.55k profit, which is a pretty good profit, almost 70k, just like last time. So we're kind of um, you know getting about the same each time, and the total profit on all the episode is just under 390k profit which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, now this video is over. Uh, I will see you next time and bye-bye.